Back with Mike Davis of the Columbia College Cougars. Uh, Lady Cougars 8 and 4 on the season. New Year's weekend, New Year's Eve, and then on uh, New Year's Day, Saturday, the uh, 31st and 1st. A big matchup for you guys. The Columbia Cougars, Coaches versus Cancer Classic. Both the men with teams win games that weekend. You guys have games at 6 o'clock both Friday and Saturday night. Talk again about this Campbellsville team, number three in the country. Number three in the country. Current ranked right now. Yeah. And a big star player that you guys have already yeah. got a big circle around her number. Well, on you know, that we, we open up uh, Friday night with the Missouri Valley. Right. Great local team here, so that'll be great fun. They'll bring a great crowd in. Um, on Saturday the 1st, then we play Campbellsville. Campbellsville, like I say, is number three in the country. Whitney Ballinger, a 6'3 player they have who was the player of the year in the NAIA last year. And great, great talent. And we actually played them two years ago in the national tournament the first round. Uh, beat them in a close ball game by three or four points, something like that, to advance on. But uh, one of the premier players in the in the NAIA, and uh, great fun to watch. Our fans will get to see a great player in her. There's kind of a, a theme that we talked about the Oklahoma Baptist matchup and some of these teams that the Columbia College Cougars are also that program that's mentioned in some of these battles that you've made it to those national tournament appearances. Sure. You know, pushed onto the Sweet 16. Hopefully, an opportunity to advance past that one of these years. And and but these same kind of teams are always. Sure. Fighting right there in the national tournament uh, to get there, you got to fight through the AMC tournament and some very tough competition for you guys in the conference. William Woods, I know, is off to a strong start. We won't play them New Year's weekend, but they'll be in town, so an opportunity to that will really to be, watch them a little be bit one of the premier NAIA tournaments in the nation yeah. this year. Uh, uh, each year down at Jackson, Tennessee, where the national tournament is at, they host a tournament that has uh, a number of, of ranked teams in it. Yeah, but really, ours here uh, New Year's weekend is going to be one of the better ones as far as good quality teams. So great, uh, great time to see some really good teams and really competitive games. I think it'll be a good weekend. Uh, you start off conference play after the first of the year on the 6th of January. You've got the, uh, the folks from Arkansas, Williams Baptist, uh, much improved ball club. Uh, talk a little bit about the conference play. Where, where you, I mean, it's hard to kind of peg you know, where everybody's at in the conference without playing each other yet. Yeah. But... You know, it always changes, uh, non-conference to conference. But right now in non-conference, we have some surprise teams doing really, really well. Uh, Williams Baptist is 8-2 and two, uh, at the present time, so playing very, very well. Park University, who I believe is our second game mm -hmm. uh, in the rotation, uh, they are 7-2 and two right now. So really some teams uh, stepping up, playing at a high level. Uh, you know, Williams Baptist has a couple of guards returning who have been there, it seems like, forever. I don't know how old they are. They, they must be on like a doctor's program down there or something. But uh, they've been there a long time and really played at a good level. And I think, uh, you know, as they're maturing, getting into that junior and senior year, their, their level of play is really improving. Park has a new basketball coach there, a guy who's come in from uh, Division I and uh, really uh, energized that program. And they're playing very well. So that's going to be a great week for us to start conference play with some challenges, one at home, one on the road, and, uh, you know, right back into the AMC and get going. And then one final road trip to McKendree, Illinois. You're not going to miss that trip to the Bearcats, are you? That's always fun. It's always <laughs> fun. I, you know, I, I think as a coach, you're, you're disappointed that they're leaving uh, the conference uh, because they're a good school to have, uh, have in it. You know, I think each institution, they have their own priorities and what, uh, what they need out of a conference and where they're going to. So, uh, you know, if uh, a change is better for them, that's what they need to do. Uh, you know, I think for us, though, you take care of yourself. Yeah. Uh, you don't look at it as the last game to have there. That's just, when that one comes up, it's the most important game yeah. you have because it's the next one on the schedule. So, uh, you know, they've had a few injuries this year, but still playing very well. And, uh, you know, they'll be, they will be a force in the conference, as always. The Columbia College Cougars, again, a big weekend, New Year's weekend on New Year's Eve and also on the first at 6 o'clock, the men playing the 8 o'clock games and the full schedule of the Coaches versus Cancer uh, rundown for all of the games at Columbia College that weekend available at ColumbiaCougars.com. We'll come back. One more segment, talk a little bit about some more of the roster, some of the players from the Cougars as we head down the final stretch in the conference play for the second half of the year after this with Coach Davis. It's the Columbia College Coaches Show on Mediacom Channel 22.